The Mystery at the Abbey. Hey there, junior detectives. Welcome to the exciting adventure of Mystery at the Abbey. Get ready to put on your detective hats and solve the case of the missing golden chalice. Where had it gone? It's time to solve this mystery. Scene of the crime. We're about to explore the crime scene. We'll look for clues and solve the mystery of who did it and why. Keep your eyes open and get ready to be a detective with us. Imagine this. In the old St. Augustine's Abbey, where monks live and pray, something strange happened last night. The most special golden chalice, kept safe in a hidden room called a crypt, disappeared. Down in the dark crypt, everything was a mess. There was a sweet floral smell all around, and a weird stain was found on the floor. The chalice was very important to the monks because it belonged to their church. Now, they need to find out who took it. Meet the suspects. Novus Ned. He is a young monk who joined the abbey not too long ago. He has a troubled past and he often talks about how he wants to be a better person and make up for his past mistakes. Maybe he's still struggling with his old ways of doing things. Brother Gardner. He is a monk who loves gardens. He wants to fix a broken part of the garden and build a new greenhouse. So he works a lot to make the garden beautiful again. Brother Bookworm. He's a monk who loves books and reading. He wears glasses and is always surrounded by piles of old books. He's curious and loves to learn new things. Professor Patty. She's a smart lady who loves learning about history. Her hair is gray and tied up in a bun, and she wears glasses. She came to the Abbey to study old things and tell stories about them. Brother Bert. He's a monk who likes to help others and knows a lot about the Abbey's traditions. He's always wearing his monk robes and has a kind smile. Hey, do you like mystery stories? Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe so you don't miss the next adventure. Now let's listen to each suspect's alibi. Novus Ned. He says he was helping Brother Cook in the kitchen, washing dishes, and setting the table for dinner. He worked hard making sure everything was clean for mealtime. Brother Gardner. He says he was outside in the garden, watering the flowers and painting the greenhouse because he loves taking care of the garden. Brother Bookworm. He says he was in the library, organizing books and reading stories to younger monks. He likes to keep the library neat and share fun stories with others. Professor Patty. She says she was in the dining hall, talking to the other monks and sharing stories about the Abbey's history. She loves sharing interesting facts with everyone. Brother Bert. He says he was in the chapel, praying quietly and helping older monks with their prayers. He likes to spend time in the chapel and help others with their prayers. As you look at all the clues and think about what happened, you'll start to see the bigger picture. Whose story doesn't match the evidence? Whose actions seem a bit suspicious? It's up to you to put the pieces together and figure out who's behind this Abbey mystery. Are you ready for this exciting challenge? Put on your detective cap, use your smarts, and let's solve the mystery of mystery at the Abbey. The fate of the Golden Chalice and the Abbey is in your hands.
Well done, detectives. Brother Gardner took the chaliti. He needed money to fix the garden. He loves the garden a lot and felt sad seeing it all destroyed. As he didn't have enough money to make it nice again, he took the treasure to get his goal. Even though he wanted to make the garden pretty, taking the treasure wasn't the right thing to do. Let's put him in prison, 